Hello and welcome to Sue's Resin Tip of the Day. I bought some tables on clearance from Kmart here in Australia and there were a set of two tables that come in a tray form like this, so these were just white and so I've poured the resin in the centre. So in today's resin tip of the day I'm going to show you how I use 3-in-1 oil to create the pattern and then a bo bonus tip at the end I will show you how I clean up that oil and how I fix any divots from the pooling of the oil. So without further ado let's get into how we create this pattern in the resin. So for this project I've mixed up 400ml of resin and split it into 4 cups. One cup of clear, one cup of white, one of silver and one of a vibrant blue. And then I'm just pouring this in a random pattern across the surface of the table tray. Now there's no particular idea to this pattern because we're going to add oil so it's going to do its own thing anyway so I've just put this random across the surface of the table. So next I'm just going to add some heat to pop any bubbles but also to warm the resin because the it's quite cold here in Australia and so the resin is quite cool so I'm just warming the resin before adding the oil to help the resin move once we've added the oil. So now that I've warmed my resin it's now time to add the oil a uh, drop at a time. So I'm using 3-in-1 oil but you can use any oil for this so you can um, anything you've got to hand like silicone oil or lubricating oil or anything like that you can use in this but as I mentioned I'm only adding a drop at a time and just placing them in a, a random pattern around the surface of the resin. Note you don't need a lot of oil to create this pattern so you just need to add one drop at a time let it sit and see if there's any gaps or large gaps where you need to add a touch more and then what you're going to do then is just leave this to cure overnight so it's the next day and as you can see we've got some oil pooled on the surface of the resin and what we need to do now is to clean this oil off and then add our flood coat of resin to fix any divots that the pooling of the oil has created on the surface. So first we need to clean off the excess oil, so I'm using a baby wipe but you can use alcohol wipes, alcohol spray, paper towels, anything that you can that can cut into the, the grease and lift it from the surface of your resin. So you need to make sure you've got no oil left on the surface at all otherwise it will affect your next layer of resin. And then next we're going to sand the surface. This is for two reasons. One to create some tooth on the lower layer of resin and two to create the dust which will mix with any excess oil and it will make it a little bit easier to lift off when we come to clean it again. So for the final cleaning stage we're now going to use some isopropyl alcohol and some paper towels and I'm now going to soak the surface of the resin with the alcohol and then using the paper towel I'm going to then soak that up and make sure that this surface is squeaky clean and has no residue of oil at all on the surface. So once you're satisfied that the surface is free of any oil it's now time to apply your final flood coat of resin. So I've just mixed up another batch of 400ml of resin which I'm now going to apply over the surface of the existing layer of resin. Oh, 
and once again I'm going to use some heat to pop the bubbles and also to warm the resin by warming the resin it gives it it makes it easier for it to flow across the surface so I'm just going to heat that with my heat gun and then I'm going to come back every 10-15 minutes just to check on this to make sure there's no bubbles coming up and that there's no oil still on the surface coming up through the resin so as always I hope you enjoyed this quick and simple resin tip of the day and it's given you some ideas for creating patterns in your resin so I'd like to see the opportunity to thank all the members of Sue's Creative Circle for supporting me and the creation of these videos so for that I am eternally grateful if you would like to find out how you can join Sue's Creative Circle then check out the link in the description below also if you like this video and would like to see more resin ideas or other projects that I'm currently working on then please subscribe to my channel I have plenty of other ideas to keep you entertained so until next time, bye for now.